ended up scraping rust off the Freeman's hull from the outside. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Hmm. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Attention. Any personnel who have not completed their annual medical evaluation should report to Knight Captain Cade immediately to schedule an examination. Dr. Lee, if you're here to that talk to working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You may not like the Brotherhood, but the people of the Commonwealth shouldn't have to suffer for it. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But, coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Hey, 
Let me ask you something. Sure. Ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened... So... Sure. Yeah. I'm all right. Huh. D thank mm. goodness, of mm -hmm. course, when I... The plenty of... Right. But it... Why'd they let you in? Because I'd... Yeah. Uh -huh. the... uh -huh. Turns out, I took... Uh -huh. Take it. Was it hard? Settling in? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I started, but I... Wait. And up. Yeah. Hell, I never... It was about... I took... No. Think the Commonwealth looks bad? Proctor. You should well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building his electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck.
Thank <laughs> you. 